channel so today I'm back to do a video I've never done before and it came to me last night in the shower when I was at the gym and I was like oh my god I really want to do that video so here we go I don't quite know what I'm gonna call it yet you'll see it in the title but sort of like um an affordable gift guide basically because I don't know about you but I'm sick and tired of seeing gift guides for like a beauty bag that's 75 pounds but it's worth 230 quid um i don't have that type of money i think that everything in this video obviously not collectively but everything that i'm going to sit down and talk to you about all the items are less than 20 pounds and also i would say a lot of them are actually less than 15 10 pounds so it's like a budget gift guide because times are tough and I don't feel like people are talking about it on the internet because no one wants to talk about how hard times are at the moment, and rightly so. However, I do feel like we need some sort of acknowledgement that Christmas might not be the same as it has been over the last couple of years because of how tight things are. So I'm here today if you're struggling or you can't think of a gift to buy somebody or somebody's got everything or you're on a budget and you've got a secret santa budget of 10 or 15 pounds i'd like to think that you could take away something from here to buy for somebody else or if you're struggling with what to put on your christmas list i really hope these things help you um these it's sort of like a cross between christmas gift guide under 20 pounds and also my recent favorites so where should i start i'm also filming this round black friday so just be aware that the prices that i'm currently talking about in a couple of weeks time when this video goes up they might have increased um but it just sort of gives you a bit of an idea so i'm going to start off with one of my holy grail items um and that is my crocs <laughs> i can't explain to you how much i love my crocs i have three pairs of crocs i've got celery which is a color they're green they're amazing um they're quite spenny they never go down in the sale i've got ballerina pink which i bought last year they go down in the sale they're currently about 25 21 i think or 25 these are my favorite i wear these pretty much every single day i wear crocs and socks i wear them on the school run i wear them home from the gym i wear them to work i live in these crocs um and they're still in such good condition these are the brown they're coming up more greeny brown on camera than what they are in real life they are like a they're a cool toned brown they're not a warm brown which is what i really like about them these are currently on amazon for 14.99 i paid 27 for these i think maybe in may so current price you you can get them under 20 quid and I can't explain to you how much of a good gift these are. Crocs are everywhere. And I feel like, for example, Neil was a croc hater. And then he put them on his feet and he can't take them off. He loves crocs as much as I do. So if you've got a brother or a dad in your family, even an auntie. I've got my auntie on the croc hype. Um, I love them. I don't feel like a cheaper version compares, if I'm being perfectly honest. But because of how cheap you can get them at the moment on Amazon, even at, like after Black Friday, I would imagine they're still relatively low cost. Um, so these might go up, but if you've got the budget, I highly recommend Crocs. I live in them. I literally just took them off to show you in this video. Um, I wear them with jeans. I wear them with cycling shorts in the summer. I just, I love my Crocs. And I think that they're a really good gift. Um, so yes, Crocs we're on the apparel the only other thing that i've got is again i was influenced by my auntie on this and this is a i don't want to call it a bum bag because it's not it's like a crossbody bum bag it's from uniqlo i've never ordered from there before i think this was like it was a weird price 14.89 or something so less than 15 pounds and i love it so it's this really nice material I mean it's just a black bag i'm not a bum bag wearer but i can't explain to you how nice this is it's got a pocket on the inside for you see here i've got paracetamol and lip salve and all of that stuff and then you've got a really big pouch in here i can fit i just had my nintendo switch in there and then look look at all that space you've got so much space in there you can fit can i fit a book in here yep 
You can fit a book in there. It's so good. You can fit a large iPhone in it and a purse. And I just love it. I really like feeling like I'm not wearing a bag because I haven't worn a bag for so long because obviously I've had the children. Um, it just fits really nicely. So it's got a long adjustable strap so you can have it up here if you want. I don't understand people that wear their bags on their chest. I think it's really weird. But this is unisex as well. So again, if you've got a brother in the family and they like wearing bags on their chest, by all means. But for me, I wear it across here. It's really easy access, or it's easy to access, sorry, can't get my words out. Um, and I like to have it underneath my coat. And because it's not that big and bulky and heavy, depending on what you put in it, I love this bag so much. I have never loved a bag so much. And it's so simple, but I couldn't recommend it enough. They've got loads of different colours. They've got like a really nice forest green. That's what my auntie's got. They've got a blue similar to my hoodie. They've got a cream. They've got a tan. They've got like a burnt orange red. And then they've got the black. I do want to get it in the brown, but I just don't need it at the moment. But that bag is amazing. So I really recommend that. Again, if you've just got like a sister in the family um, and you're not too sure what to buy them, that's a really useful present that... I think someone would really appreciate. Like accessory slash apparel, that's all I've got. I feel like clothing is very um, specific to that person, but just like your generic like fluffy socks and things you can pick up in Primark for two, three pounds. Um, another thing that I've got that is clothing, but it's nightwear, and this is gonna be really hard to show, but I received this for Christmas last year. I must have shown you what I got for Christmas last year. Because I've got a feeling I did a video wearing it. I shit you not, this is one of the best things I own. So I know there's more expensive ones out there by, is it Udi? Um, and I know Primark came out with a range this year. But if you can't get your hands on those, and the budget doesn't stretch. I know Primark's less expensive than Udi. Mine is from Dunelm. I think this was... 16 or 18 pounds um and it's a i call it my blanket hoodie so it's got a hood it's black and white and it is massive you've got a big pouch at the front and it's basically a blanket hoodie with sleeves and it goes down to my knees and i live in this i pick this over my dressing gown because sometimes when you sit down in a dressing gown it gapes open and you have to like readjust yourself this with a pair of pyjama bottoms or joggers or even my jeans at the moment because it's cold I will come home and I'll put this on over my clothes to keep warm because um, I don't want to put the heating on um, because our heating bill, trying to keep it real, our heating bill one day this week was £14 for our gas so I don't want to lower the tone of this video but like I said I'm just trying to keep it real um, this is amazing. This would be a great gift for a mum. Um, it would be a great gift. It would be a great gift for anybody. I couldn't recommend it enough. Like I said, Secret Santa. Someone is always going to use this. There might not be a design that they may like, which is, I would go sort of this style, if you're not sure. Um, but I can guarantee you, it's a gift that someone wouldn't buy themselves. And it would be a gift that someone would utilise so much, especially in the current climate. So, my blanket hoodie. I will try and leave things linked below. They won't be affiliate links because I don't know how to do that. And I wouldn't do that anyway. Um, but I'll try and leave things linked below to sort of help you out. Whilst we're on the topic of keeping warm, I want to give a mention to my hot water bottles. I have three currently. So I've got a... I've got a small, like, a normal size hot water bottle, which is great. I use that for my feet. Then I've got this one, which, to be honest, I don't use that often because of the shape. It's quite... It's, it's comfy, but it's quite hot. I think it's best if, like, you're sat reading a book and you're, like, leant up against, like, a, a headboard. Whereas this, it falls off. This one was from Dunelm. I got this back in, must have been September. And this was, I think, I think it's eight to 12 pounds. I can't remember. Maybe it was 10, I can't remember. But this is a neck hot water bottle. Um, 
I was never really been a hot water bottle user until last year and I loved the one that I got but it just wasn't enough so then I invested in this I liked this but it wasn't my favorite you can also like put it round you but it's not not the easiest but then this this bad boy is honestly one of the best things I've bought this year this was from B&M it was £10. I really hope these are still in stock, but you know where I saw them actually? Um, I think they're around about eight to ten pounds. Was QD and I also had them in the home bargain. So if you can't get them in BM, because I know BM sell out of this sort of stuff pretty quickly. I got this in October. Um I couldn't recommend this enough. So like I said, I paid ten pounds. It's a really, really long one. Um I personally only like to put in one kettle full of this because I don't like it to be, I like it to be floppy. I don't want it to be full and solid. But I literally will just sit on the sofa like this. You can sort of put it lower. You can have it between your legs. You can wrap it around your tummy. You can wrap it around your neck. I love this. I have gone out since I've bought mine and I've bought three for for Christmas presents because I couldn't recommend them enough. I've bought Neil one because he's always stealing mine. If you take anything from this video, it would be this. And I know you might think, oh, well, they've just got a normal hot water bottle. It doesn't compare. It really doesn't compare. This is amazing. And then, at, like, if I make this at, say, 9 o'clock at night, come half 10, 11 o'clock when I'm getting ready and, like, getting into bed, it's a perfect temperature to cuddle up to because it's not too hot. Um... And then I'll wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's still slightly warm when I go for a wee. So this is amazing. I cannot rate this enough. I especially love this one because it's soft and silky. They've got ones that have got teddy bear finishes as well. But I love this so much. Um, like I said, one of the best things that I've purchased this year. And again, it's such a useful gift um, to keep people warm. So yeah, I... I love that, such a good present. Something for the home that I've showed you before on my channel and I've raved about them for years are these diffusers. Now, you don't need the neon one, you don't need a spenny one. This was from, sorry, I'm out of breath, I just had to go and get it from my bedroom because I forgot about it. Um, this was from Amazon, I can't remember how much it was, but you can get them on a deal whether you get a discount off or whatever. I don't think I ever pay more than like 12 to 14 pounds for these. These are the big ones. If you're gonna get a diffuser, I really recommend you get one that has an actual plug rather than a USB one, because I've had a smaller one before that's got USB and it doesn't, doesn't work as well. The power's not there. I don't know what it is, but it's just rubbish. It turns off all the time. I've actually put it in the caravan. Um, I mean, it's, it's a weird thing to put in the caravan, but I like it sets the sets the nice calming tone when we're in the caravan. Um, but I have two currently. I've got one in the sitting room over there, and then I've got this one in my bedroom. And I do want to get another one for the dining room. Um, I just love them. So if you aren't aware, you basically fill it up with water. You take this lid off, you fill it up with water, and then you can put essential oils into it. And then you've got a timer here. You can set it to. What's this one? 60 minutes, 120, 180, or just on, so it'll go until it runs out. And then you've also got the rainbow effect of light. These aren't expensive to run, um, because I've been checking, don't worry. Um, these are just so lovely. If you put one in, in your main room, near your near hallway or whatever, the scent will go throughout the, the house. Um, it's really nice to have one when you've got guests coming over and they're like, oh, what's that really nice smell? Or for me in the bedroom when I'm going to bed and I want to just chill or I've had a stressful day and I just want to put this on and read a book it really really relaxes me I can't explain to you how much it relaxes me you can get loads of different fragrances so like I said this is on Amazon I'll try and find one linked down below um I can't remember how many mil this is I think this is is it 450 I can't remember, it doesn't say on here, um, but I'll try and link this one. You can get them in different colours, so you can get like a wood grain effect, which is what I've got over there. You can get white, this is black. I only got black because it was cheaper. Um, and since then, like I said, I actually bought one for my mum for Christmas this year. Um, so, 
that says a lot. I think I got mine on Prime Day. I'm not too sure how much they are currently on Black Friday. Um, and then oils to go with them. So you can do essential oils and you can buy a pack and you can mix and match and make your own fragrances, which is what I do. But for someone like my mum that hasn't got the time to do that, she just wants something easy to use. I couldn't recommend these enough. These are from Sainsbury's. If you've watched me for years, you'll know how much I love the Sainsbury's diffuser oils. Well, they're not diffuser oils. They're they're called scented oils. I use these on my candle burners as well. So I'm not normally a wax burner girl. I normally just use oils because I feel like you get a lot more for your money. I feel like wax melts are a massive waste of money because you burn it once and then the scent's gone. Whereas with these, 10 drops, 12 drops with water and you've got 15 mil. They look small, but they last you ages. So these are from Habitat. They've changed over the years, um, but you can pick these up I think they might be, I think they range from like £2.80 to maybe £3.50, but they normally have, have offers on. So I really recommend these. I've got Fig and Elderberry, and this one is Blooming Garden. These were discontinued. I paid a pound each for these, um, which is so cheap. Um, but I really recommend just going to Sainsbury's and having a look at the oils, because it just works out a lot cheaper, a lot hassle, a lot more hassle free than like making your own because nine times out of ten if you just buy the lamp or like the diffuser it just comes on its own you could do the two oils and a diffuser and maybe like a box of chocolates for 20 quid right I'm just going to quickly briefly talk over some books I've got somebody that's not necessarily a reader like myself who probably has every book under the sun um, but if you've got someone that you think that they might like to get into reading. I know a lot of people over the winter months are like, oh, I really want to snuggle up on the sofa and get a good book. I thought I'd recommend a couple. I'm sure you've all heard of these. I've talked about these authors non-stop on my channel uh, or over on my book club Instagram. Um, so we've got Emily Henry. I feel like you can get these relatively cheap. You can get these Amazon for like a fiver, The Works for a fiver, maybe even Tesco on a deal. I can't remember what Tesco deal is anymore. Is it two for nine? It's not the best, but I don't know which deals. Sometimes Amazon do two for seven. The Works do three for six, but not these ones. It's really hard, I can't remember, but you can pick up a book for £4.50, £5. Um, so Emily Henry, I would say is a a solid author to go for. Her books are really good. Um, I don't think that you can go wrong with an Emily Henry book. If you've got someone in the family that might not want a romance or want something a little bit different, I don't feel like you can go wrong with Akatar. It's, I don't know, if you read the blurb you're like, I don't want to read about fairies, but when someone actually gets into it, I, the amount of people I know that aren't into fantasy and then they've read this and they're like oh my god I loved it it's because it's got a romance element in it and I feel like this is a really good option to go for if you don't think that the person you're buying for would want just like a typical romance this has got something going on there's a subplot and then if they like it then there's another two books in the series and then a spin-off um so I feel like just getting the first one again I think you can pick it up for five pounds Maybe it's a little bit more spenny because it's quite popular. I think I've seen it for about seven, but I couldn't recommend it more. This is the old cover. The new cover is red with yellow writing, I think. Um, but yeah, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass is such a good book gift choice. And then finally, I've just got a couple here. A Coho. If you're going to buy someone a Coho, I would suggest buying It Ends With Us, which is the one that went mental on the internet. <coughs> over the last year I've actually given mine out for some of my friend to read I can't believe I've given away one of my books so it's not here to show you but you know which one I'm talking about um, but you can pick these up I've got so many I've got another one here um, you can pick these up from the works they're five pounds each and I this one's a standalone so November 9, it's quite a small one. This happens, I haven't read this one yet, but basically they meet on November 9th every year for a certain amount of time. I think it's every five years. Um, so it's like a romance book with a twist. All the cohos have a twist. A lot of people say that cohos are sad books, but I don't believe they are. They're just emotive um, and thought-provoking. Thought 
provoking and they're really good books. Hopeless is book one in a series and then Slammed is also book one in a series. Um, there are so many. Has she written all of her front ones? Her books in the front? No. Um, there are so many co-hosts for you to pick from um, and there's so many in the works for five pounds. If you've got someone that's sort of like a, an older reader, for example, an auntie or a grandmother or your mum or someone that's not really into like the book talk books, have a look at the works. It used to be three for five, it's now three for six, but there are some really good books on there. You've got Jenny Colgan, you've got some Carol Matthews, you've got some festive reads. Um, if you've got a male in the family that's into like crime and things like that, have a look at the three for six deal. You could buy three books for six pounds and then give them to loads of different people and then buy a box of Maltesers and you're done for three pound fifty. Um, so that's a little gift idea. It's not about the quantity, it's about the, the thought going into it. You could buy someone a bag of bath salts for a pound or a really nice shower gel if they don't have a bath. You can get them a book from the works for £2.50 in the deal, that's how much it would be. No, it'd be £2. And then you can buy a box of chocolates and you've, you've done a really nice thoughtful gift for less than a fiver. Um, and I mean, I would appreciate that. Anyway, what should I move on to next? I'm gonna do beauty. I've got two items here. The first one is a perfume from M&S of all places. So this was £5. I feel like I'm working on QVC. <laughs> this was £5. They are currently down to £4. But like I said, when this video goes live, I don't know whether the deals are going to be on. So I'm really sorry if they have gone up. But if you download the app, I think you get 10% off. <coughs> Am I Martin Lewis? These are amazing. So I have like fancy perfume i've got like black opium and jimmy choo and all of them they're like my fancy perfumes i don't want to be wearing my fancy perfumes to the gym i don't want to be wearing my fancy perfumes on the school run but i also don't want to go on a school run not smelling of anything so i get the cheaper perfumes they also do some in next but i think i prefer the ms ones this is 30 mil like i said it was five currently four this one's fresh mandarin so mandarin ylang ylang and vanilla Oh my god, it's so good. They have so many different fragrances. I think they've got maybe like eight in this range. I've actually gone and placed an order and ordered... Oh, I've cracked my lid. Um, I've ordered four more because I love them so much. I've got the white coconut. I've got the Ve Vevita. This one, spiced amber. And there's like an ocean mask. Again, like a, an additional present. Say you buy someone a book and you got them a little fragrance really great little gift or goes with a hot water bottle just a nice little extra um they come in a nice box i absolutely love it i've got mine for the gym i've got mine for the school run um they're just more of like an everyday perfume they're obviously not going to last as long as a as a spenny one but for the cost i honestly couldn't recommend them enough um and they will be my go-to perfumes from now on unless i receive like a an expensive one as a gift and then finally for beauty, we've got L'Oreal. I was introduced this by my best friend Rosie. Um, L'Oreal Hydrogenous Face Cream. So I'm not going to waste a lot. It's like a serum. But it's, it's, yeah, it's not a cream. It's like a gel. The Liquid Care Moisturiser. Can you see it goes on like a clear gel? And it's so soft. It feels like a primer, but it's a moisturiser. And I've suffered for years with really bad dry skin. I'll get dry patches around my nose or underneath my eyes or on my eyelids. I use this, I haven't had any dry cracking or anything on my face. This is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. They do different versions. So they do normal, dry and sensitive, which is what this one is. They all look the same, but there's different, they'll have different names. You can get this on Amazon. I think normal RRP is $9.99. I've never actually seen it be on there for that price, but I think it sells in boots for that price. Um, but you can pick it up for about five to six pounds. I think currently we're filming Black Friday, so sorry. Um, I just paid five pounds 60 and I bought one for my Auntie Carol um, because she said she's got really dry skin. I couldn't recommend this enough. It's so soft. It smells um, of aloe vera. It's not an overpowering smell. You know how sun creams just absolutely stink. 
This is really good. I've asked for it for Christmas myself. I won't use anything else on my face. So I could not recommend this enough. I love it. It's a holy grail for just under six pounds. Amazing. Quick battery change because I've been talking for far too long. Am I now wonky? Probably. Have I been wonky this whole time? Probably. Right, I'm now going to go on to some games because Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without some games. This is a new one to my collection. This is Monopoly Deal. Um, my friend Rosie doesn't like this. I really do. We got this probably a couple of weeks ago. And it's like Monopoly. I don't know about you. I love Monopoly, but Jesus Christ, is it such a long game. And it drags out and it's not... Um, it's not that engaging, um, but this is quick, it's fast. You basically have loads of different cards. The aim of the game is to collect three sets of properties and then you've got these action cards. Um, so there's like deal breakers, steal a complete property set, including buildings from any player. Um, so then you, you steal that and you can be really tactical with this. Um, I think it would be probably best to play as a group, but me and Neil can play it, just us, and it'll be fine. Um, I paid £3.50 for this on Amazon. And just to add to our collection of board games, I really recommend it. I, I liked this. It was, it's a good additional gift. You could get this with a book and a box of chocolates, less than a tenner, done. Um, another one is Sky Joe. Again, Rosie showed me this. And oh, I'm hungry, my tummy's rumbling. I don't like the packaging. It looks like a really shit game. I'm going to put a picture on here so you can see us playing it. Or me and Neil playing it, I should say. The aim of the game is you can play it in groups as well. So I've only ever played it one-on-one. -on -one, uh, but we have games like with our friends probably a couple times a month. So I'm yet to play it with a group. Um, but my friend has. The aim of the game is you have three rows of four. You turn your cards over one by one, you take it in turns. You take one card from the top and then you, you look at it so it might be a red nine. You don't want you don't want high numbers, you want your board to be as low number as possible. So you then put that card on the discard pile and then you pick up one of your cards that's turned over. So all of your cards at the start will be this way, flat down. So say you pick up from the discard pile or from the from the other pile the stash not on your section sorry i'm not explaining this very well a nine i don't want a nine so out of my 12 that are flat i'm going to pick this one over here turn it over i get a zero i want a zero you want the low numbers you don't want high numbers and it's basically the person with the lowest score and you keep tally and it's just a really good game it, again you can play tactically with it i really like it this <coughs> Sorry about my cough. I'm currently getting over another chest infection. Um, this was, I think it varies normally full price at about 13 to 15 pounds. I paid 11. So I hope you can get it in the deal. I really, really recommend this. Again, another great gift with a box of chocolates or a perfume. Depending on, depending on your budget. Um, but yeah, I really recommend that. I love that one. Now my favourite game that we've discovered this year is Quirkle. Quirkle comes on every single trip we go on in the caravan. Every single time we have a games night. Like I said, we do a couple of months with our friends that live around the corner. We play Quirkle. It's a classic for us. We absolutely love it as a group. You can play one on, well, as a two. You can play with young children. Um... P plays this and she absolutely smashes it. I've got a feeling I put a picture on my Instagram. Not that that matters because I don't accept people on my personal Instagram anymore. Um, so Quirkle. Oh my god, it's such a good game. I love Quirkle. So, you have different tiles. This is the travel edition as well. So you can see that the, the tiles are smaller. The normal size Quirkle is big and the tiles are like size of dominoes. So depending on what you want and your budget, Big Quirkle in a box is, I think, about 20 to 22. This is travel size Quirkle at like 13 or like £12.50. I much prefer this because it comes in a pouch. You can put this in your bag, take it anywhere. 
So the aim of the game is to get as many points as possible. How we ta how we do our points is we just tally it. <coughs> so you have six different types of tiles, six, six different types of colour. Um, so you can do all different colours, but the same shape. Or you can do all the same colour, but every different shape. Um, and you can come off there. So I'll try and put a picture on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. It's such a good game. Again, you can play tact tact tactically. Um, it's just a really good game. I couldn't recommend it enough. Everybody that has played this with me has then gone out and bought it themselves. So just trust me. If you're going to get a game out of the three that I've recommended, I would say Quirkle's the best. Like I said, kids can play it. Um, adults play it. Like when we do our games night, they'll just be us four adults playing Quirkle. Um, it's so good. It's so easy to play once you understand it. Um, so you can lay... Two tiles at a time. Oh God, I can't show you this very well, can I? You can lay two tiles at a time. Say you're coming off a purple row, you can lay those two. It's just so good. I couldn't recommend it enough. Person with the most points wins, and I just I love it. I love it so much. So Quirkle is your Christmas game this year. And again, this bath salts, box of chocolates. I don't think many people have this, so I think this would be a good gift. Or if you're gifting as a family. And this and like a little hamper, I couldn't recommend it enough with like a bag of nice crisps. And my last thing that I want to show you today is on my Switch. And that is Disney Dreamlight Valley. Here. So again, this is quite niche. You might have a gamer in your family. Um, maybe like a niece or a nephew. Um, or you might have someone my age that likes to play games. Dreamlight Valley is currently available to buy on the nintendo store it will be free next year so that's why i've left this to the end um plus it is a little bit over the budget um however it is currently in development so you could pay for it now i think i've got it in a sale price at 21 pounds but i think normally it's 25 um it's currently in development phase and it's going to be coming out for free in 2023 however it could be coming out november 2023 which is why when it went down in the in the sale i was like fuck it i'm gonna buy it um it is such a good game i'm gonna put it out there and i'm gonna say that it's better than animal crossing because it's got more structure i loved animal crossing however you're then sort of left to your own devices and i don't like that i like a game with missions um there's loads of videos on the internet doing walkthroughs and reviews and all of that. So if you've got a gamer in the family and you think that might, once I've given you a description, it sounds like something that someone you're buying for might enjoy, go and watch a review. Um, but I thought as a gift, you could give a Nintendo gift card, like an e-store gift card for like £20. Or you can buy it and then put it on their thing, on their account. Um, but i couldn't recommend it enough i haven't had it that long and i am obsessed with it it is so good so you have sorry i'm not really showing you it very well should i just show you <coughs> my game i wish i had loads of free time because then i would just play it all the time um it's just so interactive there's so many things to do so i'm not a disney fan i don't understand disney adults that live and breathe disney no offense no judgment just not for me um so when i saw and heard about like a disney game i was like not for me but actually playing it i just like having tasks to do and it's so well done so there's this map here you can see over here you've got grayed out biomes that i haven't unlocked yet so there's a really big map come on it's not the fastest there we go so there's loads of different places that you eventually unlock. Um, and there are different characters. Again, I don't really care for the characters. Can we see this? Oh, what have I just done? Collection furniture sets. There you go. But yeah, hang on. Let me do it like this. So there's loads of different characters that eventually come to your valley. 
there's loads of different um things that you can forage for so loads of different things that you find that you use the materials for loads of different flowers there's loads of different things that you can craft and then my favorite are meals there are 165 meals that you can make on this and you eventually get the recipes and you make all of these things and then you gift them to people um and the aim of the game is basically dreamlight valley has turned it was like all dark and dingy and not very nice um and then your job is to sort of restore it so there's all these little hang on there's all these little vines everywhere that you have to go and pick up and then you interact with the characters and they give you little missions hang on let me just quickly show you my quests that's what they're called so you can see here i haven't unlocked all these new ones yet but i'm currently working on this one um, and it'll be like go and find a certain amount of flowers and go and find a certain amount of things and you get levels and all of that stuff <coughs> and i really really like it so if you've got a gamer in the family i really recommend it just buying like a a 20 pound or a 25 pound if you can stretch um nintendo e-store voucher that they can then go and buy it themselves however like i said it is going to be free next year so that is my first ever gift guide i really hope you like it um i think i've shown you some really good presents i really hope that i've helped for the whole family i think i've got a good little selection here so fingers crossed you can take something from it like i said i'm going to try and leave some bits linked below for you um but not it's not affiliated affiliate links or anything like that you can just click on a link um but yes i hope you all enjoyed it um i really enjoyed filming this one i love i love helping people like think of ideas and find bargains and get good prices and things like that so yes leave me a comment below let me know if you've got any gift ideas that you can leave down below anything for men i feel like men are really hard to buy for um but yeah, any other like little knick-knacky bits, leave them down below. Have you got any games that you recommend for people to get at Christmas? Um, like we've got the classics like Uno and things like that. But I just thought these ones are a little bit different. Um, but yes, I really hope you're okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, leave me a comment below and I'll speak to you all next time.